Good morning everybody, how are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. I hope we're all doing very well and I hope you've all had a very good week. Do you know what, this week has felt so short because it was bank holiday last weekend. The week has felt like it's gone by like that. It's kind of crazy. I feel like though I've said it before and I don't want to say it too much but I feel like as you get older it's a known fact that time flies by. But how is tomorrow September? By the time this video goes live it will already be September but I, I feel like since my birthday in April I don't know what's happened. Like, the summer has just flown by, but I can't lie. We're going into my favourite season. I do love summer, don't get me wrong, but autumn time, I just love it. I love it when it gets all cosy. I just don't want it to rain much. We need kind of that cooler weather where the leaves are all crisp, but we don't want too much rain because the rain just ruins things. By the way, do you remember in my last video, I bought this lip liner from Harrods. It's from a brand called Vive. I didn't realise this, but someone wrote on my last vlog, thank you to whoever you are, telling me it's Jamie Genevieve, who is like an OG YouTuber's makeup brand. And I didn't even know that. It kind of makes sense now, because like Genevieve, Vive. I mean, I knew she'd started a makeup brand, but I didn't know I was stocked in Harrods. How amazing is that? And do you know what? It's such a nice colour as well. And it's a really lovely consistency. I find with lots of lip liners, they can be quite dry. But this is lovely. I got it in the shade brat my family would probably say that's quite fitting for me <laughs> all jokes aside it's a great nude lip liner my hair is just having a moment today i've got all these bits stuck up on the top of it i think i put too much dry shampoo on it and it's kind of dried it out i just thought i got that pink blusher this gets everywhere by the way look how much it's leaked as well great blusher but it gets everywhere it's the nars orgasm liquid blusher as i say it's really lovely on but it gets over everything and I thought I just got it on my silk pyjamas. I don't even know why I'm daring to do my makeup in these pyjamas but I'm obsessed with them because they feel so nice on my skin. Like they are the softest, silkiest things ever. Whenever I wear silk pyjamas I always feel like I should be roaming around my mansion in Beverly Hills. I don't own a mansion in Beverly Hills by the way guys. One day but not right now but that's how silk pyjamas make me feel. Like they're just so glamorous. Anyway we need to pick an outfit because we're actually going to... Harrods. <laughs> I know I go to Harrods a lot in my vlogs guys but if you watch the last vlog you'll know that I actually bought a jumper which I want to return. I also bought a pair of sunglasses but a lot of you have persuaded me to keep the sunglasses so I think I might keep them but we have a lot of things to return today and you know we might do a little bit of shopping whilst we're out. But I have in mind what I think I'm going to wear. I actually have a few new bits to show you so I'm going to do a little haul before we leave. I feel like I've just jinxed myself because it's just started raining. I said anything is good except for rain and here we are with more rain. Anyway, I said I was going to show you guys everything on this rail behind me just here because over the last few weeks I have been starting to think about my autumn winter wardrobe. I'm not going to show you everything on there right now but I am going to show you all of the pieces that I recently picked up from Lily Silk which are where my beautiful silk pyjamas are from. Look, they have pockets as well. I feel like these are too nice to wear to bed. Like I feel so glamorous in these. Honestly with a heel. I feel like this would be a vibe on a night out. You know, like they do a pyjama set that you're meant to wear out. Tell me why you can't wear these on a night out as well. I actually have another pair of pyjamas from Lily Silk, which I kid you not are like four years old. I have worn them so much. They're actually still in really good condition though. They wash so well. The quality of their pieces are unreal. I also have Lily Silk pillowcases because I sleep on silk every night. That sounds a very princessy thing to say, doesn't it? But if any of you out there aren't already sleeping on silk you should look into it it's great for your skin but it's also really good for the condition of your hair and lily silk do some great silk pillowcases they're also a zero waste company so when they make things like these pajamas any off cuts of silk and fabric get made into things like scrunchies and eye masks which i absolutely love and they use really high quality fabrics obviously silk but also cashmere's as well and something i've really been trying to focus on over the last few years and i've definitely spoken to you all about this before but it's the fact that i'm now looking for quality over quantity so buying less but investing into better quality pieces like silks and cashmere's which i won't just wear this year but i can wear year after year and they'll really stand the test of time so of course the first thing i picked up from lily silk was this gorgeous pajama set but i have a lot more to show you so i'm gonna quickly get changed and show you this on next we have on a very kind of classic timeless piece which is the silk striped black and white shirt which actually comes down quite long on me let me just show you it for length I love the fact it's long though because it means it's versatile so I could definitely wear this with a pair of leather leggings. I love that look. You know when you wear like leather trousers, chunky boots, 
a black knit over the top of this and then this poking out I think that would look lovely so I like the fact it's got the length because then it covers your bum however you can obviously fold it up and just tuck it into a pair of jeans once again like the pajamas it feels incredible I feel like with this outfit we need to add a belt as I was saying the quality is so good and this is a shirt that will just never date you could even wear this I'm just thinking about it just now because I'm hoping to go on a winter holiday need a little bit of winter sun um, but you can actually wear this over a bikini on the beach or wear it exactly how I'm wearing it now as an everyday top and as it gets cooler you could definitely add a knit over the top of it or you could just pop one over your shoulders i always really like doing this i feel like it adds a little bit of texture and something different to any outfit such a simple classic i feel like i say these words a lot but such a simple classic timeless look and a shirt that is just never going to date and do you know what something else i really love about lily silk is the branding is so minimal they do have a tiny little logo on their shirts i'll show you it but i in fact just think it's so chic and I love that it's not too in your face. I also just wanted to show you guys how you could style the shirt with pretty much anything, but also a pair of black trousers. And I think this gives such a different look and something you could definitely wear to the office. And it's more of a kind of chic work vibe. So not just are the pieces amazing quality, but they are also really versatile as well. And before I get into the next item, which I feel like needs to be, I'm gonna show you this in just a minute. I need to tell you guys, I've actually got a discount code for Lily Silk, which is Freya12. That will get you 12% off. And if you spend over $350, then use Freya15, and that will get you 15% off. So you've got different options depending on how much you spend. Now this roll neck could quite possibly be my favorite thing I got from Lily Silk, only because I know I'm going to wear it so much this winter I adore a roll neck to the point that I'm actually going to pick another one of these up so when this is in the wash I have a spare one this is super soft it's actually 85% mulberry silk and 15% cashmere it feels like butter on my skin there is no itch and it just feels incredible I can't tell you how excited an all black look like this is getting me for autumn by the way i'm sorry if the cameras moved my camera just went crashing to the ground like literally i just it fell over so i'm sorry if you've moved since the last frame anyway i can't tell how excited i am about this i'm obsessed but this is exactly what i mean about investing in good quality pieces especially at good quality basics that you can wear year after year i'm actually going to switch out the trousers and show you these on now i haven't actually spoken to you about sizing yet but everything i picked up from lily silk was either in a size medium so tops in a medium trousers in a size 10 i would say i think i could have sized down so on my next order i'm definitely going to do tops in a size small trousers in a size 8 i think in my experience it does size a little bit big so just reference that when you're shopping with them these trousers are so incredibly comfortable i can't even tell you guys they are 100 percent wool and then the lining is 100 percent silk they also have an elasticated waist so that's why i mean i definitely could have sized down but it also makes them so comfy i've obviously added a belt i still have on the roll neck they are a little bit long for me but as i mentioned in many vlogs but if you're new here i am short i'm only five foot three but for most people i do actually think these would be a perfect length sorry i know you're all going to be sick of the roll neck but look the roll neck with a jean so simple and i'm also going to add a black blazer just to show you like how it would look with a little jacket on as well here we go so the jacket just over your shoulders even like guys this is so my vibe this is just it's, it's so my vibe i'm sorry but i'm obsessed the last few bits i picked up were actually more knitwear so i'm do you know what? i think i'm actually going to wear this today so i'm going to show you this on first so this jumper is 100 percent cashmere it's got like a knit effect going through it and do you know what it's actually super soft i often find that cashmere's can be quite itchy but this isn't at all it feels so nice on a trend that's going around a lot just recently is that whole kind of quiet luxury look which i do really love and I feel like if you're trying to get into that whole look, something you should really focus on is good quality fabrics. And as I've already mentioned, Lily Silk really do them so well. So cashmere silks and high quality wools will make such a big difference to how your overall outfit appears. And you also feel really good in them as well. And last but not least, I'm actually going to wear this today. So I am taking the label right out of this. This cardigan is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. Like everything else I've said, it feels just incredible. 
I love, sorry. Is this not giving pumpkin spice season? Is it too early to wear the Uggs or am I just taking that too far? I don't know, but guys, this cardigan, I'm sorry. It's so cute. It's so cozy. I love the buttons on it, which are tortoiseshell. So you can actually do it up as well. Once again, like everything I picked up, this isn't a size medium. I'm actually really happy with the size of this though, because I like the fact it is a little bit more oversized. I'm feeling, should I add the belt? Do you think a brown belt would look nice? Sorry guys, I really want to do the Ugg as well. Like, I mean, it is cloudy and it's kind of raining. And they shouldn't really wear Uggs in the rain, but like, is this acceptable to wear this out today? Guys, I, I feel like I'm just going to do it anyway, you know? And that is everything I picked up from Lily Silk. As I already mentioned, I do have the discount code, which I'm going to leave on screen just over here so you guys don't forget. I will also link everything down below as well. So if you want to shop anything, you can easily do it from there. But as I've already mentioned, Lily Silk really do fantastic quality pieces and also pieces that will last for years and years to come. Anyway, Reese is actually waiting for me to go to the shops. So let me show you how much. This is actually embarrassing how much I've got to put in my car and take back. I've been a lunatic just recently. I've been buying so much stuff and it, it, it's time to take a lot of it back. I mean, I wasn't joking when I said I have a lot of stuff to take back. Let me just show you these shoes I got from Nessa Porter. I thought I was gonna like them, but I'm not sure. So they are the Adidas Campus Bad Bunny. I mean, I loved the color online, but I wish they were all like this color rather than they almost look a bit purple and then the laces look like this i feel like the tongue i just i'm not really sure like they're cool but i just don't feel like i love them enough to keep them you know yeah what's your thoughts everyone i'm gonna tell you all the truth and that is the fact that i'm actually two days later like on in life from when i last saw you and i'm actually currently sat outside harrods i have my jumper with me i'm wearing exactly the same outfit other than the uggs i'm wearing my sambas instead um, when we last spoke but yesterday was an admin day and today is currently Saturday and yeah I just had nothing to film yesterday and I didn't end up going to Harrods on the day I was going to because after I went to the post office and took back some of the parcels you saw it was kind of late in the day I went to the gym and then we had dinner and it didn't happen but we're going to do the Harrods trip now so I've got the stuff I'm going to return I am going to take back these Bottega sunglasses even though so many of you said you really like them, I do love them, like they're cute, but I just don't feel like I'm gonna wear them. And as we're kind of like edging towards the end of summer, I mean, it's now September, September the 2nd, guys. Um, I just feel like they're unnecessary. Can you see the sweat on my top lip? I feel like today has been hotter than the whole of August and looking at the next week, the weather looks insane. So the fact I've got a knit cardigan on is actually kind of embarrassing, but I really want to just wear this outfit. So here I am. Anyway, let's go into Harrods, take some things back and try not buy anything else. And look how pretty Harrods looks from here. The sun all shining on it and the Prada cafe. And it's actually really busy. Well, it's Saturday, so that's why it's busy. Oh, look at that sparkly Fendi baguette. Oh, look at that. Wow. Cute love very cute look at this gucci outfit with the skirt cute the lady in gucci just asked me about my trainers actually and asked me if they were comfy and these are so comfy guys look at this mash and mash dress it's giving barbie isn't it look at that top look at the cups on this this is also like the jimmy choo shoes imagine wearing this dress with the jimmy choo you know like the poly pocket heels Love. This is actually one of my favourite sections in Harrods, which I don't feel like I ever show you, but it's got um, loads of different brands, but it's just a lot more chilled. Um, so it's not like the super brands, it's brands like Magda Butram, Jacquemus, Rick Owens over there. Anyway, we're going into lingerie because I need to take back a bra, which I bought and didn't try on. I don't know if you can take back bras. Can you actually do that? I'm unsure, but I'm going to give it a go. No, look at these boots, please. Sorry, there's your watchy. They're literally covered in see like not even sequins, they're like diamantes. Wow, they're so heavy as well. These sandals that I have have been sold out in this colour for ages. They've been in the darker colour. I've just seen in Harrods they have them in the light brown like mine. These are I don't know what size they are, they look a little bit bigger. If any of you still want them, I know it's the end of summer, but you might have some winter holidays books. I really love these new Celine belts. They're kind of way into the whole quiet luxury where the logo is a lot smaller than obviously on the Triumph belt. Look at these shoes I've just seen. Stop. They're amazing. 
latest update is they let me return everything fine. So even could return my bra, which was great. And yeah, I returned the Loewe jumper and I end up taking back the Bottega sunglasses, guys. It had to happen. We're now in Harry's, so if you can see. Um, yeah, we're having a little bit of dinner. And then we're actually going to the cinema. Activity packed afternoon. I'm so boring, guys. I get the same thing every time. It's tuna. Um, with garlic, anchovies. Do you know what it's having? I don't even know what it is to be honest, but it looks very nice. We have chips, parmesan mashed potato, broccoli, and Reese has got the grilled sea bags. Delicious. Hi, guys. Um, we are currently in the car. We've been for dinner. How was your food? Rate it out of 10. Yeah, good. Eight. Well, you really enjoyed it. Yeah, so. Yeah, it was nice. I agree. Mine was really, really lovely as well. I love the tuna steak, and I did have a couple of Reese's chips, and they were so good. Anyway, we have been sat in the car because we were a little bit early for the um, <laughs> a little bit early for the cinema. Sorry, he's making jubbly faces. The cinema is going to start in ten minutes. What are we watching again? Equalizer three. Equalizer three is what we're watching. To be honest, I'm just here for the cookie dough. I can't lie. And he's here for the vegan milkshake. This is where we're we going. This is a really cute cinema, guys. They actually have a few of them in London. Um, as I already said, this is the one on the King's Road. I am extremely hot. Not sexy hot. <laughs> I'm just sweating hot. Anything but sexy right now. Look at the sweat on my face. I mean, it is the end of the day. My face is extremely greasy, but... It's really warm. Guys, the film, in my opinion, was so good. It was very gory, action-packed, and like they're the kind of films that I like that pass Maybe a little bit too gory for me. I don't really love when you see too much, but I love things that are like thrillers, kind of scary, those sorts of vibes. It was really good. So we saw Equalizer 3. That's, did I even tell you that? I'm not sure. When we left the cinema, Reese says it was the worst one out of all the Equalizers. He was like, it was good, but it wasn't as good as Equalizer 1 or 2. I don't think I've seen the other ones. He was like, we definitely have watched them. But honestly, I've got a memory like a goldfish. Like, I just tried to think and I just couldn't remember. But I'm sure if I put, like, the movie on, I would then be like, oh, I've seen this or I haven't. But I can't remember watching them. Anyway, it was really good. And I always loved that cinema. It's so comfy. And the food's always good there as well. I feel a little bit sick. I ate so much popcorn. Like, it's not okay. I'm just doing the quickest evening skincare routine because, do you know what? I'm too tired to do a I mean, my skincare routine isn't really that big, but I can't be bothered tonight, if I'm honest. So micellar water, cotton wool pads, and then I'm just gonna use the quarterly cleansing oil just to get the rest of my makeup off. Tomorrow, I've actually got to be up, well, I was gonna say early, not that early, but it is quite early for a Sunday. I think I'm gonna set my alarm for about 7.45. Because I'm going to Pilates class. Even though I'm being lazy, I am actually gonna double cleanse because you know, I just feel guilty. But at this moment in time, I'm gonna be honest. I always say I'm gonna be honest. I'm a very honest person. I really am. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I really can't be bothered to go to the Pilates class tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna have to drag myself out of bed. Like, I can't even see right now. My eyes are gone so blurry. Whenever there's tech stuff involved, like cameras, lighting, laptop, memory cards, it's almost so chaotic. I don't know if this is just me. I feel like I'm a quite a chaotic person to be honest, but. Right now my light died, now my camera's telling me it's got no memory, I've got one bar of battery and then I just feel like I start to rush and everything just feels like Ugh! Maybe this happens to everyone, I'm unsure. By the way, Clay de Peau, the serum, serum, is <laughs> so good. I'm looking very shiny, I'm going to quickly brush my teeth whilst the serum is sinking into my skin before my next step. I don't know if I've told you this before. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm very into my teeth, right? Because I had Invisalign, like I take it very seriously that my teeth stay in good condition after I spent all that time getting them straight. Anyway, my dentist always bangs on at me about the fact that everyone should use an electric toothbrush. And then I looked at buying, I've actually had one for ages, like I've had different ones, but I looked at getting a new one a little while ago. And this is the Philips Sonicare. It's such a good toothbrush. I'm gonna link it down below because as I mentioned when I started this whole spiel, I feel like there's so many electric toothbrushes out there, you don't know which one to buy. Well, in my case, I was just absolutely clueless, but actually my dentist recommended me to get this one. And 
it's really good. My teeth always feel extremely clean and it's not like harsh. You're not as bad to put that on my teeth then because I was talking about my teeth, imagine. Um, but it's also not harsh on your teeth. Like you just hold it on and it's just a great electric toothbrush. So if any of you are looking to invest in your teeth or a new toothbrush, I'll link it down below. This is now my Skin and Me Daily Doser. I feel like I don't need to tell you guys about this. This is skincare that's designed for me. It has active ingredients in it. But has basically changed my entire life and my skin. I'm looking very red and shiny right now, but guys, I mean, I'm looking so red. Oh my God, why am I so red? It's because I'm so hot, this is embarrassing, but my skin, I always say this, but my skin has never been better and I'm so happy with it because if you've been here for a long time, you'll remember my skin always used to be quite spotty. And then I started using Skin and Me. This sounds like an ad. I do work with them, but like genuinely, I love them so much and it has changed my life. It's the best. I do actually have a discount code for them. I will link it down below. My camera's about to run out of memory. I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, UK Lash, Lash Serum. Moisturizer, I'm going to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. I am currently in the back. Can you hear me? Um, my face is so puffy this morning. I did not get enough sleep. I'm currently in the back of a black cab going to a Pilates event with Pilates by Bryony, which I'm very much looking forward to. Today is Sunday. I went to bed at 2 a.m. for no reason. I was not out gallivanting. I just stay up scrolling aimlessly on my phone for such a long time. And, um, and then my alarm went off at seven. St Paul's Cathedral. I feel like I've had a tour of London this morning. Do you know what? I just said to my friend Abby, the reason I love getting black cabs is because they drop you at the right location. And he he didn't drop me at the right location. Like, when does that ever happen? Well, he did, but he dropped me around the corner. But I have this like anxiety <laughs> where like, I never know where I'm going and I always get lost all the time. So that's why I get in black cabs because they take you to exactly where you're meant to be. So I, especially if I need to be somewhere at a certain time, like a meeting or, I don't know, an event or an appointment, I always just get in a black cab. It costs way more money than the tube or walking, but for me, it's worth that for my peace of mind for arriving. But um, yeah, he dropped me in the wrong place. So that's really annoying, but I just saw a load of people who look like they're like Pilates girls. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Hi guys. Let me turn this UV down quickly so you can hear me. How are we? Um, where was I when I last saw you? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, how do I mute this thing? I was at the Pilates event. That was this morning. It's currently about half four, five o'clock. Pilates was lovely. I don't even know if I explained, but Bryony has an online app, which I believe she launched in the first lockdown, might be wrong, it might have been before then, but she has the most incredible body, like honestly. She gives me motivation to do Pilates, like seriously. But obviously because all of her classes are online, it's really nice when she does the sort of like briny in real life um, sort of events. And I've been to, this is the second one I've been to of hers, and she's so lovely. And um, it was actually really nice. I went and didn't know anyone. And I thought, you know what, I'll probably just bump into someone I know. And I actually knew quite a few people there. So it was just like something I'd never usually do. But I thought I'd go to like a fitness class, like a regular fitness class on my own. So what's the difference kind of thing? Um, but yeah, it was really nice just to have like conversations with people and meet some new people. Um, yeah, it was good. Anyway, I have actually been home for ages, like five hours. But I came home and filmed two reels for Instagram because... I'm in my real filming, like, I hate killing everything in the era because it's just annoying, but, like, I really need to get with the program, with the reels. I actually hate filming them, which is why I kind of put it off for so long, but it's got to a point where you have to film them. So I'm trying to enjoy them a little bit more. Obviously, autumn is my favourite month for fashion, so it does make filming the reels a little bit easier when I really love the clothes. <laughs> and I feel like it's perfect time to start because everyone's like excited for the new season. So I actually posted one on my Instagram the other day. I'll insert it here. You should all follow me over there anyway. And it's kind of given me like a little bit of an incentive to do more. So I filmed another two today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they all look okay. Cause like when you film on a camera, you don't really know how they're gonna look, but they should be fine, hopefully. 
um but i've literally i think i did like 14 outfits maybe not that maybe it was 12 it was a lot but it's good it will get my self ahead for the rest of the week reese has gone to marks and spencer's to go and get roast dinner he's gonna bring it back and i'm gonna whack it in the oven then we're just gonna have a chilled night tomorrow morning i'm actually shooting again and then this vlog should actually go live tomorrow as well but i'm kind of panicking i'm panicking because i don't really know how long this vlog is going to be i feel like i haven't really spoken a lot i mean i probably have but at the same time, I'm like, what have I actually been doing? Like, when this is the issue when I vlog, right? Is when I go out and about, I take such tiny little snippets of what I'm doing, where at home I will chat your ears off, literally. But when I'm out, I just don't really know how much vlog footage I've got. I've not even started editing this vlog yet, so I really haven't got a clue. I sometimes think it's not going to be very long, and then I look back at the footage, and I'm like, I've got like an hour and a half that I need to whittle down. Um, so it should be fine. But anyway, I am actually just about to tidy up, because everywhere is a mess that's what happens when i film stuff and um yeah and then get roast dinner duties on it's actually kind of early to be eating but something i have been doing just recently is trying to eat earlier because we eat so late like i don't know if any of you are like this but honestly sometimes it gets to like 9 p.m and we're just eating dinner which is so terrible um so yeah we're trying to like eat a little bit earlier so i feel like having a roast dinner at five isn't the weirdest thing in the world is it I mean, by the time I cook it, it'll be like six lol cooking. I mean, I'm just going to open a couple of packets and put it in the oven, you know. That is how I cook roast dinner. I need my sister to teach me how to cook a proper roast. Um, that is not one of my life skills, unfortunately. It should be, but it's not. Let's all just ignore the football on in the background. But here are our starters, guys. Prawn cocktail. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. Here it is. We'll ignore all the packaging and the um, very unesthetic Pyrex gravy bowl but you know this is it stunning the Yorkshire puddings are just about to come out of the oven do you know what I spend my life doing cleaning this bedroom this dressing room whatever you want to call it it's always a mess but then one day it will be tidy for like 24 hours and then it'll be a mess again look at this um lipstick by the way I don't know if it will focus hopefully it will it's from Tom Ford but look it's got like gold leaf inside it it's so fancy and I'm just putting it on my lips because I actually just found it in a pile of stuff that I have there. I did take it on holiday with me, but I forgot all about him. It's very nice. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, does it make your lips go pink? Hang on a second. Is it a colour? Oh my god. It's a lip... It's... Shut up. It says it's a lip blush. No. When you put it on, does it change colour on your lips? Let's try it a bit more. How is that even possible? It's clear. Has my lips actually changed colour? That is so bizarre. How did I not know that it did that? I swear, I literally had no clue. I did take it on holiday. I just took a photo of it. I can't lie. I, that's what I did with it. I didn't actually... I'm so baffled. It's clear with gold in it. How is my lips pink? Anyway, as I was saying, all I do is tidy this bedroom up. That's, that's all I spend my life doing and then I just make it a mess again. But... This morning I shot content. I was meant to show you guys like each outfit, but it didn't happen because it was so hot, guys. It's 28. Well, it's actually 29 degrees. The weather is beautiful and it's also set to be like this for the next, well, over a week. I said this. I think I told you guys this as well. Look, honestly, I am a witch. I'm a weather predictor. I know I can see into the future. I am that so raven. <laughs> Don't even remember that program. Lol. Anyway, I said that we were going to have a late summer. I think I did say that to you guys and I say I did it out of a vlog because sometimes I go on and on and it's a bit annoying. But I said multiple times to myself and I think you as well that we were going to have a late summer. And we're, we're having a late summer. It's so hot. It's hotter now than it has been for the whole of August. Can you see my little pink Chanel, guys? I f I'm, I'm thinking it's time. I've got the box. I've got the receipt. I also, I'm thinking... It might be time to part ways with this. This is discontinued, by the way. This is actually really hard to get hold of. I just don't wear it. I actually do really love this bag, but I'm thinking it could quite possibly be time to say goodbye. So you didn't even need to know about that. But it's because I'm sorting out my wardrobe, and so therefore I'm thinking about things that might need to be sold and to be leaving my wardrobe sometime soon anyway guys i'm actually going to end this vlog here because it's monday and this vlog is meant to go up on a monday and i've actually only got about three hours to get it live and i haven't even fully edited it yet so wish me luck with that hopefully fingers crossed it goes live i hope so much you've enjoyed this video if you haven't 
I mean, if you ha I was about to say, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> what I meant is if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, not if you haven't enjoyed the video, subscribe, because no one's going to want to do that anyway, you know what I mean. Lots of love to all, have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Lots of love, guys. Take care. Bye. I just walked into the living room and Reese was like, what is on your lips? I don't know if they can, can you see him? He's half naked on the sofa behind me. Guys, that Tom Ford lip thing, look what it's done to my lips. I'm sorry if that, that whole end part of the vlog, I look like a clown. But I, I, I don't know, I thought it was clear. But apparently it makes your lips pink. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry about that. I can't bother to refilm the end. So if I look like a clown at the end, that is why. Love you all loads. Take care. Bye.